What is up guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we should be getting the injector hat. I've uh, been following along with UPS on the tracking and I'm pretty sure it is within five minutes down the road at United Express. So I am going to go down there right now. I'm gonna chase them up, harass them and see if it's there because I can't be bothered waiting till tomorrow for it to come by a truck. So hopefully it's there. I'm gonna run over there now and see if I can go grab it. Oh, I can't get out too sad. All right, so it's arrived. And oh, I feel like such a little kid, I'm that excited. The drive home here was so hard because I just want, I literally wanted to pull over and open it. Really quick, I just want to interrupt this video and give a huge shout out to Composite Specialties. If you're wondering how I got this hat, I actually entered a competition on Instagram that I'll put just here kind of thing. And I was lucky enough to freaking win this thing. And they sent it all the way over here to Australia to help build my little burnout wagon. So huge thanks to them. This could not be possible without them. Go follow all of their social medias. I'll drop them down here as well. And let's get back to the video. Give it a sniff of approval, Lee. Might uh, stick some of these in some orders and send them out to you guys. Ooh, this is the bottom. I'm assuming that's just a box to take up space. Yep. So the legends have sent us the throw bracket. That is very needed. Woo! And throw live. Did a really good job of packaging. Woo! See my first bit of carbon. Oh my god, they did a good job packing it. Okay. Daddy. Holy shit. Woo. All right, let's get some sick shots of this. No stunt double, I do my own stunt. Could take a year, I'll still have that paper coming. Put like 10 on the 90, I keep it so on it. All in the club, we don't do no clubbing. Throw like 10 on the 90, I keep it so on it. Orange label, I might pop me two. I was getting money, but they didn't have a clue. Caught the Porsche coming powder blue. Hit the top, we don't need the roll fools. No, we made the rules. I'm with the club, posted by the marina. Eating fruits, looking at views that you never could dream of. Getting served all this paper, I'm not talking subpoena. Got a flow like a river, but you won't find one that's cleaner. No stunt double, I do my own tricks. I got hits on hits, this like my bad flip. Mind on my money, low where my palm itch. Took the slow lane cruising, now look, we all rich. I hop out the car, leave the motor running. Why you always talking like you know something? Why you always talking, going show them something? No stunt double, I do my own stunt. Could take a year, I'll still have that paper coming. Put like 10 on the 90, I keep it so on it. All in the club, we don't do no Oh, boys, how good does this thing look? It is mind blowing, man. Like, legitimately, I've dreamed of owning one of these, and now it's it's right here in my garage, ready to go on my burnout car. Oh man, I'm so freaking excited! I cannot wait. Um, it sucks. There is a, like a, a bunch more that we still have to do before it's it's ready to go on the engine and ready for the engine to come back home. But man, I can't freaking wait. This thing is so cool. Oh man, yesterday was like the most excited I've ever been. And like, I know in the last video, I mentioned that I was going to be getting all the stuff for the back, all the metal and everything so that we can make the false floor and start mounting the cell and everything. But man, as soon as, as soon as this thing rocked up, there was, there was no, no way I was doing anything else. So yeah, this, this entire video will pretty much revolve around being the unboxing for this awesome masterpiece. I... Like, I've seen these before, never really up close and personal, and holy crap, these things are incredible. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So hopefully those awesome beauty shots that I just had up before are freaking doing do it enough justice. But hopefully at some events in the near future, you guys can actually come up and have a look at the car yourself and get up close and personal with it all. Look at all the little things that you see here on YouTube all the time and actually be able to like look at them up close and see how they work because the craftsmanship on this is 
is second to none. It is outstanding how, how amazing they are. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna go wait for Indy to wake up and I'm literally gonna make her climb into the engine bay of the wagon and she's, I'll, get, I'll literally get her to sit in there and then hold the hat and then I'll put the uh, bonnet on and we'll be able to see how tall it's gonna be. Now, I was really worried that it was going to be too tall and I was like really scared that it was actually going to like, I don't know, this part just here was gonna be super disproportionate and tall and I was worried that it was going to like stick up like, instead of being like down here, it was gonna be like up here and I don't know, like, Sure, always taller is cooler, but there is definitely a time and a place where it is too much. And this, this is utter perfection. And this is freaking so cool. Oh, I just cannot wait to be sitting on the start line. Everyone watching and then just wah, wah, wah. Can't wait. Every little bit of it, like the actual weave in the carbon, like just look how cool that is. And like how it like bends when it's coming up around here and how they've got it all to join and just, oh God, it looks so sick. I hope you guys are frothing over this just as much as I am because this is outstanding, absolutely insane. And it's also just really awesome to be able to like look at one up close and see how they work and see like how the, what stops what. Like for instance, is the adjustment to control how how much they they close so you can see that little screw will hit the stop just there and then also how much they'll open so you can see the bottom screw just there hits on the same bit and that's wide open shout out to mick hammond so yeah it's just such a cool little freaking mechanism and like so simple but so well engineered kind of thing like i know they're not recreating the wheel with this all injector hats are kind of like this but oh man it is just so cool oh man i'm that keen all right stop rambling i'll go get indy what's this you like hopping in an engine bay. To oh, hold we're doing it. that now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, Indy the trooper, <laughs> sitting in the engine bay to hold up the hat. Um, is it heavy, no, or is it just it's awkward? It's just awkward. Because like you might actually have to like be putting it like on your head. <laughs> yeah. Because because your head yeah <laughs> wear the hat like a hat because it's literally where it would be. So if you maybe literally hold it like side by side on the top. I just don't want to bang it by trying to move it around. Alrighty, so instead of having Indy sit in the car, we actually decided to use a tripod. And this is actually one of the original cutouts from the old bonnet. And that's pretty much perfectly got it there. Jesus Christ. Wow. That is going to be retarded. How you going, baby? Struggling? <laughs> One of my arms is shaking. Booty. That is gonna look insane. Look at that. Oh, perfect size. Not, not too tall, not too short. So good. You struggling yet? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll put this down and come get it. So, when I take the hat, can you grab that? Yeah. Alright, so now we're just going to take it out the front, next to these like pretty little roses down here. We're going to do a little photo shoot with it, because it should look sick. Alright, so we just done a little little, little photo shoot with it. Just like, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, she's like not a professional model and I'm not a professional photographer, so we were just snapping random crap. Um, but yeah, I guess that's, that's one way to hold a $7,000 injector hat. <laughs> Alrighty, so now we'll take this back inside. I'm probably going to bolt it back to that table just so that like it can hold in one spot because it's so front heavy, you can't just sit it on something or like sit it down. You either lean it on its front or you bolt it down. So, well, Indy carefully brings it back up. It looks so big when, it, when you're holding it like that. Actually, I kind of want a photo of it like that. Can you take a family photo of the dog in there? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so bought that back to the table. Man, it's oh, perfect height. I love it, perfect height. So, my trusty little paint table. I specifically drilled two holes in it, just so that, this hole? Just so I could bolt it through. And then the hook pins. There's the, oh no, I'm too far away from this side.
And now, before we have to send it off to APM, we can drool over it a bit, and at least sit it here and look at it. Oh, it is so beautiful. All right, so now that I've used and abused my girlfriend uh, for the purposes of taking some cool photos, um, that's probably gonna wrap up today's video. So uh, this is one of the coolest things of the entire build. I can't believe, can, I, I cannot believe that we, we have one of these hats for the wagon. Like literally a dream come true having one of these bad boys. So I can't wait to have it all together. And like seeing how tall it was and how perfectly proportioned it is and like perfect, absolutely perfect. I was worried that it could have almost be a little bit too tall and I feel like we've nailed it and it's perfect. So super excited for this. Can't wait for the future of the build. This is gonna be massive, I'm so excited. So if you are new to the channel and uh, you wanna see the rest of this build come together, the motor is ready and it is ready for the injector hat. So any week now, hopefully we're putting the engine on the dyno, then we get the engine back, put it in this beast, and then we can get this thing rolling. So if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you get a notification every time we upload a video. But that is where I'm gonna wrap it up for today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one, which will be Monday, 6 p.m. Be there or be square. Alrighty guys, peace. I've been in thugging, you bitching and bugging. There's nothing that we got in common. I've been out grinding and hustling, investing this paper. Got tired of eating that ramen. All of my music be heat, I ain't missing a beat. I've been blessed with impeccable timing. Watch all them people who friendly, it's turning to envy whenever they see that you shining. Okay, I'm.